Guys? Is that you? than anyone else and cover the ground with more cement cause trust me just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again Breakers. Shit. 
Hello? Mr. Demet? Might be time to join the 21st century, guys. Great. Enter the creepy maintenance room in the creepy hotel on the creepy island to shoot a doc about serial killers all alone and without my stun gun. Choices, Jamie. Make better choices. This is your own damn fault. Breakers.
Thank God. Something from this century. Damn it! I had to build my own little castle, just like Holmes did. Most people like me do their business where their target lives. That's just asking to get caught. Holmes had the right idea. It's all about the honey trap. You bring me some smokes, like I asked? Lucky Reds? Yes. Oh, these are like gold in here. Damn, that's good. So, yeah. The honeypot. Holmes built a hotel about a mile from the World's Fair and called it the World's Fair Hotel and bought ad space in papers alongside ads for the expo. Rubes from far and wide assumed it was the official hotel. Come on, Pa Kettle. Take a train in from... Nebraska. Takes three days. They roll up into that joint ready to rest, get to their room, and whoops. What do you know? Holmes had a gas pipe hidden under the bed and poisons them. Or maybe he pulls a trap door on them. Maybe he separates them and makes one watch through a window while he slits the other's throat. That's the advantage of a honeypot. No shortage of targets. <laughs> That's why I picked all those houses north of the airport. That whole neighborhood was scheduled for demolition, and yet all those lovely realtor ladies must not have gotten the memo. Call up as a contractor. Tell them I'm flipping. Have them meet me out there. And look at that. We're the only two people for miles. 
The first couple times I'd wait for a plane to fly over just to hide their screams, but after a while I realized they could scream as loud as they wanted. No one was gonna hear a thing. That's what I remember most, those screams. You can try to understand why I am the way I am. You can forensic science up all the data you want, but you'll never know. You'll never know, Monday. You'll never really know how it feels when you watch the fire burn out of somebody. How are we looking, Jamie? Little electrical drama, but we're about good to go. This looks great. Very gaslight. Mm, if we had a grip with some foil, I could get a good flicker effect going. This would be fine. I just got a bit more to do once Kate's standing there. Should be more than a few minutes. Where's everyone else? Well, if they're smart, they're walking down here as we speak. I'm about done. I can go round them up in a minute. Ah! What the hell? Hey, hey, help! Somebody help me, I can't see a thing! I... Guys, guys, please! Aaron? Get me out of here! I can't see a thing! The door is shut! Break it open! It's not buzzing. I... I... I can't... I can't breathe. Turn left. Slow deep breath. In and out. Aaron? It's okay. We're right here. You're not hurt, are you? I, I need my inhaler. She's having an asthma attack. What's your room number? I... Hurry! Carly, where's your room? Next to mine, down the long hallway for you. Aaron, I'm going. I'm trying to breathe slow and easy. We're here, Aaron. Just try to stay calm. Count your breath. One, two, three, in. One, two, three, out. Break through this thing. Guys, I, I. I can't. Go and look for something to knock this door down. Me and Mark will try and force it open. Who's there? Guys, guys, somebody is in here with, with me. Oh, God. Hey. 
Hey, you okay? What? Did you see him? Come on. <laughs> he, he was, somebody was right there, in there with me. Eric, it's just a dummy. No, it was not a dummy. He, he had a hat on, like H.H. H. Holmes. Charles, you're working her to death. Now she's hallucinating shit from the show? I did not. Nothing bad happened, Erin. You're okay. No one is in there. Let's all just calm down, get Erin back to her room for a rest. I'm not fucking tired. Let's go. Come on, Karen. Ah. There you are. I think Erin's shown signs of serious pluck, wouldn't you say? Now, where's our wayward host, Mr. Dumet? Apparently, he's left the island. How very rude not to stay for dinner. Charlie managed to rally the troops, though, and a good thing. The road ahead is full of challenges. I can only observe, and it can be frustrating to watch. In some ways, I envy you. I only record events. You get to shape them. You'd better get back to things before one of our friends makes a poor choice on their own. Let's just all take a deep breath and not lose our minds. No, Charles. We're done. This has been weird every step of the way, and now it's getting scary. Oh, relax. I'm serious. Everything about this is off. Kills me to admit it, but Kate is right. Somebody tried to attack Aaron. We don't know that's what actually happened. I know what I saw. In the dark. You think I'm making this up? Everyone relax, OK? Just give me a second to think. Excuse you. <sighs> And exit stage left, our oh-so-confident and sure leader. What was that? <sighs> Charlie is thinking, which looks a lot like a temper tantrum. Maybe he's right. If we don't crush this episode, we're all screwed. Are you kidding me? What? I'm just I've saying... I've been waiting on you for ages to actually make a decision about something. Anything. And now, this is when you suddenly choose to take a stand? Sorry, maybe I'm crazy, but if Aaron says somebody came for her, I believe her. We're not safe here. It was just a dummy. You think I'm lying? Really? I think maybe you're just confused about what you saw in the dark. I know what I saw. Right, <sighs> here's the plan. We've already got a plan. It's leaving. Just listen. <sighs> We cannot jump to conclusions. I'm gonna go and find Dumet and get clear on everything. Everything is gonna be fine, okay? And we're gonna get the footage we need. He didn't show for dinner. What makes you think you can find him now? A positive attitude. You should try it sometime. Bravo, Charles. Your delusions make for such great plans. Dumet left. I saw it, remember? Maybe he's back now. Maybe he's not. Would it kill you to think positively just once? I guess as far as Charlie ideas go, it's not the worst he's ever had. It's not even the worst idea I've had this evening. Don't go patting yourself on the back. I still think your priorities are fucked. Whatever. I'm going. I'm coming with you. Wait. Do you have to go? I'll be right back. Promise. Just stay put so I know where to find you, okay? I don't care what he says. I'm done. I'm getting my shit together. Kate. Okay. I'm leaving, Mark. You coming or not? <sighs> Aaron saw someone. Okay, you're right. Sorry, it's just Charlie said. We're not safe here. That outweighs having a damn job. You're right. Let's go, Aaron. Everything's gonna be okay. Wait here. Can't you just stay here while I pack up my stuff? I don't want to waste any time. I'm right around the corner. Let's all be quick. We'll be right back. Promise. No, don't. Sorry, just. Still freaked out. Can you leave it open so you guys can hear me? 
Of course. Okay, genius. Where are we going to look first for Dumet? I'm not looking for Dumet. I'm scouting for shots. If he pops up along the way, great. Jesus. You really don't care about anything else, do you? Of course I care. Tell that to Kate. You know as well as I do, if we're set up and a camera is rolling, she'll want to be in front of it. <sighs> Asshole. What happened here? I... No idea. I wonder if that groundskeeper would know where the met went. Wait, what? What the hell? Jamie, over here. Okay, yeah, I'm freaking the fuck out. It's just blood. Just blood? Are you kidding me? You're jumping to conclusions. All we know is something was dragged along this way and it was bleeding. And that's not a cause for concern to you? All right, it's a little odd. Odd? What do you want me to say? Look, it's probably just Dumet or the groundskeeper dragging in some dead animal from outside. Maybe it's our dinner. Welcome, one and all, to tonight's entertainment. Oh, what the fuck? Presented by Grantham Dumet. Dumet? What? So he hasn't left. Please, help me. The fuck? Help me. Please, please. Are you? I'll do anything. What happened? Are you okay? What the fuck? Stop! Look. Look. <laughs> 
crisis. It's a fucking booby trap. You shift your weight off that plate, and this guy is getting run through by that thing. Sam. The mask? What the hell was that? Oh, you're shitting me. We're trapped. Jesus. We're trapped. What do we do? Break the fucking door down. Right. On three. One, two, three. <sighs> spirit crystal don't do that and don't make fun of me sorry wouldn't want you to cut yourself the rock is sharp as hell and you know super magical it's an amethyst crystal it, it helps keep you calm by blanketing you in protective energy i know i remember if you know then don't call it a rock maybe i just feel like you should take responsibility of your own emotions and stop outsourcing the job to a crystal It makes me feel better. Something you never seem to be able to do. Okay, maybe that was a shitty thing to say. I'm sorry. It's fine. This isn't the time or place to- I have to tell you something. Okay. Earlier, you brought up that DP job I blew off. I never told you the truth about it. About what? It wasn't a job, not really. What are you talking about? Remember my friend Murray? He was setting up a studio in Brooklyn, Fine Arts. He wanted a partner. <laughs> That's your dream. Yeah. There is exactly zero money to made, so I thought you'd tell me it was insane, rightfully. Because it would be. Why the hell didn't you go for it? Why didn't you tell me? Things were already starting to get tough for us. Oh, no, no, no. Don't put any of this on me. This is all you. I know. I turned it down because it would have taken me away from you. I, I guess I didn't even think of that. I, I just, uh, What do you want me to say? Guess I was holding out for things to change with us. Deep down, I'm still hoping. Mark, I have never once shied away from telling you where my priorities were. All right, I get it. We better go. Let's get back to Aaron and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> 